Hey fan, um, friends and subscribers, Anti-MTV Movement here, and I know all of you like hearing me do rants with my real voice, and so this is mad, and I'm the only one out of all of us that are part of MTV, Anti-MTV Movement that's willing to use his real voice. The subject here is, which is worse, Disney or MTV? Now first of all, both networks fail and produce shitty programming. For Disney... It's received a lot of haters because they're trying to have untalented people fill roles that require talent, and it's been bullshit the last couple of years. Now, first of all, kids need a role model, and unfortunately, turn to Disney because of their reputation of being a kids' channel and catering to the kids. It's been that way since the 1930s, 1950s, and. When kids look to Disney to find role models, the role models that Disney offers is fucking horrible. They found acts that don't that didn't have any talent to begin with and made them look as though they had talent. I'm talking about the Jonas Brothers, Hannah Montana, and the rest of these these new generation lead Leif Garrett's that MTV or Disney is is promoting. If you don't know who Leif Garrett is, he was the Justin Bieber of the 1970s. He did disco music, appeal to the girls, and faded quickly despite drugs being a, a, a big contributor to, to, contributor to his downfall. But Disney is for six-year-olds and above. But if you, if you are 17 and still watch Disney, you'd better examine yourself. So a lot of Disney fans won't know if stars like the Jonas Brothers or Hannah Montana lack talent because Disney's young fan base, mainly those under 10, don't give a shit about talent. They probably like what is appealing, attractive, and sounds fun, which tragically to them, the, Jonas, the music of the Jonas Brothers, Hannah Montana, that sounds fun to them. The thing that's wrong with Disney, a worse thing that's wrong, is their attempts to cater to an older audience like middle schoolers and high schoolers, because that's failed miserably because of High School Musical. They try to put a positive spin on the high school atmosphere and make it seem fun, but failed. I don't hate the concept of High School Musical, because there have been shows like High School Musical in the past, like Grease and, and shit, and it may follow the example of teen movies, but it makes high school seem like it's fun and, you know, all happy and shit and full of singing and... But it's incredibly cliched. There are some truths to High School Musical, being that there are cliques and... There are people who hate jocks and th there are jocks in high school that... that are dicks, but... High School Musical is very st stereotypical, very cliched. The, the songs don't sound good. And in the movie version... Disney try to find attractive people attempting to sing and dance and... and misfired. Because those attractive people can't sing or dance to save their lives. As a result, this is a musical that can't compete with classic musicals of the past, like Oklahoma, West Side Story, or even um, Variety Show, which is a sports musical in the 1930s. High School Musical will make you pine for classic Disney films like the earlier ones, like Little Mermaid, Cinderella, Aladdin stuff that you used to watch as a kid and still might like and would show to your kids but if you show High School Musical to your kids it wouldn't be the best of ideas but in no way shape or form does Disney fail as much as MTV not not too many things can fail as much as MTV that's why it surprises me that more people on YouTube seem to hate Disney than 
MTV because MTV is the one promoting talentless acts that need auto-tone and studio equipment to hide their obvious lack of talent. This may be the case with the Jonas Brothers and Hannah Montana, both of which could be new Milli Vanillis, but more stars that use auto-tone and need studio equipment to hide their lack of talent, they would appear on MTV. You know, unlike MTV, Disney tries to find people that can do things that require talent. They also try to f find better role models than that, than that of MTV because Disney stars are meant to suit the entertainment needs of a six-year-old and above. Who are MTV stars trying to suit? MTV stars don't possess a semblance of talent and are puppets of their record labels. That's that's the case with most small punk bands. It shouldn't even be punk, it should be puke. And rappers like Lil Wayne and Soldier Boy that don't have any creative control and suck the record label's dicks. And in Lil Wayne's case, surround themselves with a bunch of yes-men, as Muse Production said. That is the case with the Jonas Brothers and Hannah Montana being puppets, but... MTV, MTV stars, they could easily be the next Milli Vanilli, but can get, can get away with it because of technological advances that have been made in the past 20 years. You can alter live performances even, so if you suck, your live, perform um, your live performances won't expose you as sucking. But who else besides... Uh, lack lackluster music, and I use that term very loosely. Stars is MTV marketing. That's right, reality TV stars. I made a video on this. These motherfuckers do not belong on covers of magazines. They do not belong. They do not deserve exposure. Basically, if you watch Dennis Leary's Merry Fucking Christmas, which is a Christmas classic, you'll see him slander Paris Hilton because she's receiving attention that she is undeserving of. I'll post a link of the video showing Dennis Leary's take on Paris Hilton. It's pretty fun. And you'll agree with it because Sarah, um, Paris Hilton contributes nothing to the entertainment needs of people. She doesn't possess a semblance of talent as, and is allowed to make a record deal because for um, of her money, and that's that's a sad case. MTV and Disney stars look for marketable images and try to put marketable people in positions that require talent. These marketable people fail because they don't have any talent to begin with. MTV is more guilty of promoting untalented individuals that will only suit the needs of teeny bopper bitches, which is a travesty the worst fan base you can attract and it's been it's been getting worse since nine since 2004 it started in 1992 when the real world premiered and we see reality TV stars appearing on tabloid magazines entertainment oriented magazines and you guessed it ladies and um Ladies and gentlemen, even YouTube. I'd imagine people like, you know, failed abortions like Vuzz Up and Asian Hitch of MySpace and Forums Hawaii, and even YouTube. He's got a YouTube account. Liking, liking these people and liking their exposure, but why are we ex why are we giving them this attention? Are we trying to? Um, use them as examples to set for children are, are, are we trying to label them as role models because that is not the case MTV does not promote role models that that are inspiring the, these role models that MTV promotes are much worse than the role models than the ones Disney promotes and this is going to be a, a two-part video. Stay tuned.